Hi everyone and welcome to your first lesson under the Climate Graphs tab of the Water in the World Teaching and Learning website resource. This lesson, lesson one, is going to be an introduction to climate graphs. Your success criteria for this lesson, so by the end of this lesson you need to know climate graphs and you need to be able to interpret and gather information from climate graphs. So let's have a look here. So what is a climate graph? A climate graph is a graph that shows the average temperature of a place per month using a line graph and how much precipitation that place receives per month over a year using a bar graph. A climate graph is made up of a line graph for temperature and then a bar graph for precipitation. So temperature is always shown as a line graph. So we can see in my example of graph in here, I've taken away the precipitation bars and axis and now we're left with the line graph for temperature. And we can see the months of the year along the bottom here as well. So temperature is always shown as a line graph. Uh, the line is always colored red and the axis is on the left hand side. So you'll see we have a heading here that's temperature in degrees Celsius and we get the average temperature of the month. So for instance, for January, the average temperature would be, I'd say probably about 24 and a half because that dot is nearly at 25. Sometimes on climate graphs there are two lines. One line will show the maximum temperature for the month and one line will show the minimum temperature. So precipitation is always shown as a bar graph on a climate graph. So precipitation uh, bar graphs are always colored blue and then precipitation is any form of moisture such as rain, hail or snow that comes from the atmosphere. So let's have a look at our example of grafting together we can answer these questions here as well. So by looking at the data, we can see the average temperature for the year for each month for Grafton, and we can see the amount of precipitation that Grafton received during each month as well. So let's have a look at the first question. What is the rainfall in June? So I go down to my months along the bottom of the graph here. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, June and then we go up and now we can see this is a bit of a tricky one because that dot is also over that line. So we need to see where this bar stops and we need to go over to the right hand side under precipitation because we need to be measuring precipitation. So I'd say that's about 60 there, 80 is that line there. I'd probably say the amount of millimeters that Grafton received that month would be about 78. What is the average temperature for October? So remember, temperature is a line graph. So we're going to go to October, O for October. We're going to go up to the line graph. Now, the temperature wouldn't be 100 degrees Celsius. So we know that we can't look over here. That's going to be wrong. So we need to go all the way over to temperature. We need to look on the right-hand side. That's just under that 20 line. So I'd say that's probably 19, 19 and a half degrees Celsius was the average temperature for October. Let's look, have a look at the rainfall for October now. So we'll go up to October, go to our bar graph, and now we go on the right hand side because it's precipitation. And I reckon that's very close to June's rainfall. So I'd say 78 as well for that. What was the average temperature for December? So we go D for December. We go up to the line graph because that's temperature and we need to read it on the right hand side. So we've got to come back over here and I'd say if that's 20 and that's 25, I'd say that one's probably about 23, 23 and a half degrees Celsius. Now what hemisphere is grafted in? So the thing with climate graphs is they can tell you what hemisphere a place is in. So in the southern hemisphere, we have high rainfall and temperatures in the summer and low temperatures in the winter. Winter months are June, July and August. So June, July, August. Summer months are December, January and February. In the northern hem hemisphere, they have high temperatures and rainfall in the summer and low temperatures in the winter. However, their seasons are different to ours in the southern hemisphere, and they have more popular and populated cities where it snows. So that snow counts as their precipitation in winter as well. Their winter months are December, January, uh, January February, and their summer months are June, July, and August. So their seasons are different to ours. So what hemisphere is grafting in? So it's got high rainfall and high temperature in December, January, February in the summer months. So it must be in the southern hemisphere. So that's how we can tell what hemisphere a place is in based on its climate graph. Your first task you need to complete this lesson 
is these sets of questions for each climate graph you have here. So you've got eight questions on London, on London's climate graph. You've got 10 questions on Melbourne's climate graph. For Mumbai, you've got 10 questions. Newcastle, you've got 10 questions as well on Newcastle's climate graph. After you finish those four climate graphs, you then have a task on Education Perfect called Climate Graphs, and that'll finish off your work for this lesson. So thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to stay updated to any new websites that are made or any other new lessons that are made in existing websites like this one, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.